So after visiting a beautiful Lakshmi Narayan temple that you have seen in the last episode, here we are now at the Shri Kanaka Ditta Temple, Kasheri. This is the main entrance of the temple and it says you have a footwear stand inside. Well, it is a much required instruction but it is of no use as you will see. So the first glance itself gives you a different vibe altogether and one note before we move on. I do not like to speak that much while recording in places like temple and hence this is the voice over. Now moving on, the entire temple premise within these temple walls was so well maintained, neat and clean, a typical routine that you will notice in the temples in Kokan especially. And that is why I said the instruction is of no use. So this instruction says that you need to wash your hands and legs before entering the temple. This temple is very beautiful from inside. The wooden structure, the paintwork, the artistic work and the discipline shown in maintaining all of this is of the highest level. Another instruction was written, videography and photography was not allowed if you are inside of the Garbhagriha. And I do like to respect that, unlike some of the famous vloggers for whom the rules can be bent or ignored. This is a beautiful Vishnu temple. The Vishnu Murti seems so captivating. And this is the Arya Durga temple. Beautiful Murti of Devi, isn't it? And then we have a simple yet so beautiful Mahadev temple. So Kanaka Ditta temple is dedicated to Surya Devta, hence it can be called as Sun Temple. The part of the name Aditya represents Surya Devta will come to the part Kanaka in a bit. There are very limited Sun Temples in India compared to other deities. The one in Maharashtra that is Kanaka Ditta temple is not so well known. Hinduism is an ocean of knowledge. We say we have 33 Koti gods, it is often misunderstood as 33 crores. Koti is a Sanskrit word and it means in Hinduism there are 33 types of gods. 8 Vasus, 11 Rudras, 1 Indra, 1 Prajapati or interchangeably 2 Ashwin Kumars and 12 Adityas. Yes, 12 Adityas. That's how important the Surya Devta is in Hinduism. Now the Surya Devta idol in this temple is originally from Gujarat, Prabhaspatan, Somnath region. It is said to be 5000 years old. When there was an invasion in this region and the temple was at risk, the idol along with the other idols was transported to the southern parts of India. At that time, sea routes were considered safer and hence one sailor carried this idol in his ship. When his ship reached Kashari village, the ship refused to move. It was stuck. No matter what the sailor tried, it was of no use. So he thought Surya Devta wants to reside here only. So he did hide the idol in a small cave which we will see in the next episode. It is situated near the Kashari seashore. 
After that, all of a sudden, his ship started moving again. He left, but Adel was still there. Now we will talk about Kanaka. She used to reside here and she was an ardent worshipper of Surya Devta. One day in her dreams, Surya Devta appeared and told her that I am in this cave, I wish to stay here in this village. The very next day, she along with the help of villagers discovered the idol and they built this beautiful temple. They named it after the Lord and the ardent worshipper, hence the name Kanaka Ditya. Now let me tell you one thing, this all happened more than thousand years ago. Isn't it so fascinating?